Uh, one thing is, oh, there it goes. Okay. So yeah, we are live on both um, uh, YouTube and Twitch today. Sorry that you can just see my hair. Uh, one second here while I get this set up the rest of the way. Okay, that's what I wanted. I don't need that. Perfect. Okay. Now we will be able to monitor and for once I'm not going to have to like move around too much or do too much here. Okay, so I'm wrapping presents, as you can see. Move my mic a little. Sorry about this. Okay, go there. All right, guys. So yeah, I'm switching wrapping presents and then checking stocking stuffers because I wanted to make sure I got enough for my kids. Stocking surprise, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure actually I got too much in some cases. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm starting by wrapping this thing. It's a remote control dragon for my younger son. Uh, I got it at Walmart, of course. Uh, not sponsored, but if you want to, hit me up, <laughs> as they say. Uh, okay. Let's get this going. Mm, I don't think we have any viewers yet, actually. Yeah. Where is my phone? Because that would be helpful right now. Where did I put that? I did my robe that I would lift. Just sort of break over this chair. No, of course it's not. I will be right back. Where did I leave that? Uh. Sorry about that. I found it. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's just. I can't see the viewer count back here, though I'm pretty sure it's at zero <laughs> currently. Oh, I got a like on Twitter. Cool. Oh, two likes. That's always fun. Oh, what's that? Uh, why not? Sure. I did Sorry, I had a weird random thought. Um. Okay. So that's good. Leave that like that. Phone's there. Let's get this going. I'm gonna move this just because it's kind of in the way for my one thing. But I'm pretty sure it's going to the other one. All right. So luckily, this paper has grid lines. I like the one with grid lines because it's easier to tell what you're doing. I remember being a kid and many a time just going and cutting in a way that it was like on a complete angle, and it's like, oh, good lord, how do I fix this? Okay. So I was taught when you use ways to wrap things. Because you turn them over so you get a flat side. So that makes it easier to work with. Uh, in this case, I think. Hmm. What else do I have to wrap? Okay. I'm going to pull this over to the side a bit more. Just because I don't need that much excess of the sides. So let's just see here. Hmm. There, there. I'm just gonna do something for one sec, guys. It's a little bit easier for me. Sorry, I'm afraid. I know. Bad stream etiquette. I apologize. Okay. I want to take this, go like that, and there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. No, no, no. Don't do that. There we go. Okay, now I can see everything. Yay! <laughs> oh god, my Facebook angle is so... Or not Facebook, sorry. My YouTube angle is really weird. <laughs> oh well. So this is going to be an... Uh, I might edit this from the Twitch stream later and upload that as well, but that won't be for a while. Alright, so let's figure this out. Alright, so I'm just going to do a rough measure. Where did my scissors go? Had them. Oh, there they are. Back on the chair, apparently. Alright, so we're gonna just do a rough cut, like first cut, to figure out where we gotta fit, do this from. And of course, you always wanna go a little bit over so that you have some wiggle room. Okay, so that is that. Now I'm going to. Crank this off here because I only have a limited amount of workspace, unfortunately. Oh, I don't have one of those giant tables. Actually, this table used to be bigger. We had to take out the center of it to have it fit. We had to move our Christmas tree because of 
we were kind of running out of space with the place that we originally put it, which was like over here. And everything was just sort of behind and sort of on the one side. So it didn't really work. So I just pushed it all into this one corner, which is sort of what we should have done anyway, because that's where it was last year. So yeah, it's over in the corner now. It's going to stay there. I'm going to cut this. Uh, and yeah, this is literally the last bit of wrapping. All the rest is done and under there, except for like, I think like one or two things that are coming in the mail that have not gotten here yet. One of which was supposed to get here already that my partner ordered. But it has not arrived as of yet. And then another thing that I ordered that's supposed to get here like Christmas Eve at the latest. I'm hoping it gets here before that because it's for my partner and I'd like to be able to wrap it. But we'll see how that goes. I had to go to I need a tape. Forgot to get it so I had to go get some. Oh, excuse me. Alright, and hello to my one viewer on Twitch and my one viewer on YouTube that I usually have. I'm not funny. Well, at least I've got some consistency in some of my people. All right. And I've been thinking of... Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to do this a little bit smaller, wasn't I? Ah. Okay, so let's trim off the excess first from the one side. Um, How much excess are we going to have here? Okay, so that's about... Yeah, that's too much. Pull forward a bit more. There. There. That'll work. Okay. So that for that side. And then okay, so how many is that? Okay, so one, two, five. Alright. Everything's kind of on chairs. It's kind of how I had to do it. I'm sure in other circumstances people will have like stools and stuff behind them, but this is what I have to work with. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. Uh, yeah, I'll still leave a good strip to do something with. Now, I'm pretty sure I have more than enough wrapping paper as I have two whole tubes other than this, plus a whole thing of like six that I haven't even opened yet. So I think we'll be good for wrapping paper. We ran out of tape last week when I was doing stuff with the kids that would be in the last stream. So we kind of ran out of tape right then. And then I had to go get more to get this done. It's not more than enough name tags. There we go. I've got a book over here I can use that on, I think. All right, put that back down, grab tape, got my bows and stuff in another chair over here, and now I have a Smosh song in my head. Any of you know the one? It, well, it's the Assassin's Creed one, and it's like the third Assassin's Creed. I don't know. It's like the only Smosh song I actually like. It's funny, too, because I watch a bunch of their stuff, and they, and they only have one music video that I like. I don't like their music, but I like a lot of their other stuff. Sketch comedy and the gaming stuff. Alright, so another good trick for this is to tape the one part to the box so that it stays there and doesn't slide around on you. Just gotta tug it in to get some nice edges. And we can do it. Alrighty. I actually really like this wrapping paper. This is Costco wrapping paper. I'm not sponsored. Okay, what happened to that? Why did that do that? Oh, okay. No, it's fine. Never mind. Something just looked weird for a moment, but it's fine. And yes, I have my mouse like over here on the table so I can, because my laptop that I'm using slash camera and all that other stuff is up on something else in front of me. So, yeah. Alright. Yay, that is actually pretty much perfect. I'm really impressed with that. I'm usually really, really bad. Well, not really bad at this, but I'm not great. I'm like, I'd say mediocre at best when it comes to wrapping gifts. But this isn't bad. So, 
I don't know if that's just the quality of the paper or the fact that I sort of bothered to pre-measure everything, which I have been doing more of, so I used to just kind of more willy-nilly it, I think would be the term to use here. That is to say, I just kind of did it by sight and didn't bother with measuring or really thinking about how it all went until I was in the middle of doing it, and then I was like, oh god, what have I done? Now it's more like, okay, let's try this and that and this. Okay, that's good. I don't want to tape it too much since my child has to get into it. Okay. Mm, what's that? Oh, okay. Sorry, that's just another part of my thing. Uh, okay. So let's get this off. Yeah. yeah. I want to see what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to stand up. This is not even the corners kind of thing. You just kind of fold it down. Fold it down. You want to make like a nice straight edge up here in the back. Fold this part down. Same kind of idea. Now I like to fold things towards like so that you have a nice flat surface to do like the bow and stuff on. Make it look nice. That's just kind of the thing I picked up. I think my mom taught me that one. I just kind of like the aesthetics, so I kept it. Okay. That is one of my better wrapped presents, I will say. Unfortunately, I don't have all the nice lighting equipment and stuff to make this look amazing, but I'll give you guys a nice view of this when I'm done. Just gotta tape some more, and the name and a bone on, on it and all that. Okay. There. Okay. So. There we are. There. Okay. So now we're going to stick a bow. And the name tag on it. I already used quite a few of these. They're not the greatest quality. They're just, you know, cheap Walmart. Again, I don't really shop at like high end expensive places. I don't have the money for that. Nor would I do that even if I did, I think, unless it's for certain things. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to use this one. I hope this pen might be a dead. I think I have a dead pen. Yep, I got a bed. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Uh, I should really test these things before I start streaming. Okay, we have a bed. I can't believe it's only like nine days till Christmas. Good lord. Alright. Name tag. And I asked you guys your opinion on what color bow to use, but nobody's talking to me right now. So, let's go with this turquoise one down here. There's a blue. Maybe it was meant to be blue, but it kind of turned turquoise. I don't know. Anyway, it's a bit differently colored than the rest of them. So, I'll use this. But yeah. Oh no, it's kind of cool. Um, this, although I found out something that kind of sucked about that happened to this part person. Uh, so basically, um, I got. So for those of you who just heard me talking, I was talking about Smosh. And I still like. And I still watch a lot of people who used to work on Smosh, but don't anymore. So um, recently, Lasercorn got his stuff hacked, which sucks. That just sucks. Uh, no other way to put that. Um, so it's not going to come off. And so the funny thing is, is not that long ago, someone gifted me a sub to his channel when I was watching, which was pretty cool because I can't afford subscri subscriptions to Twitch channels and stuff like that. 
So it was pretty nice. I thank them. And one of the things that got mentioned on right on the thing when it happened, like I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, yes, I used to get a freaking subscription. He mentioned my name. Oh, yeah, there's still a graphic drop for you guys to see. Pretty nice. Pretty, nice. pretty good. All the edges are, you know, nicely done. So, yeah, that's for almost done. It's going to go into the cleaner. But yeah, so stuff I uh, have, okay, I mentioned on stream about me getting that, and he mentioned again, because I mentioned when I turned in for another stream mentioning that I had gotten a sub on the last stream I had watched of his, and he mentioned me again for the comment, and I was like, oh my god, that's kind of cool. You got mentioned twice. <laughs> Although it sucks that his stuff got hacked like that, really, really sucks. Like, I don't even want to, like, think about that at the moment, but then again, I'm not big enough for anybody to try and hack me anyway. So, eh, probably someday I'll have to worry about that stuff. Not at the moment, though. Not too much. Probably a little bit. I mean, for all I know, there could be someone out there who's got me you on, know, like, dark web crap. Sorry, shouldn't swear. <laughs> okay, let's grab this book. Sorry, I have to grab things kind of weird because of my back. I have a fused spine, so I can't exactly bend like you normally would. So sometimes I have to do things weirdly. Okay, yeah, that'll work. So I got my son this little, it's just like a little pop-up book. It's hard finding, because he likes dinosaurs a lot, my younger son, so nice little pop-up book here. Kind of cool. See how you like that. I got some other dinosaur books. Some of them are wrapped already. Others are still sitting over here, which I'm going to wrap. So again, we want to measure and cut. Where did my There they are. I'm just gonna cut this right now because it's not a very big thing. It's over there. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna tape this to here. All right. Go. And I'm gonna try and stream for till almost till I have to go and pick up my kids, pretty much. So probably about. 220 here. Um, so yeah, another hour and a bit. I don't know how long it takes me to wrap everything, of course. Oh, excuse me. Sorry for that. And I'm also going to check their stocking service to make sure, like I said, I got enough. I'm pretty sure I do. So, other uh, things have been, well, I had a health issue a bit ago, which is why I couldn't stream for a while there. I've been kind of slow to restart because we've just been busy and just, I don't know, not really in a streaming mood lately, I guess? I don't know. Uh, this does not want to close the way I want it to go this way. Nope, that's not gonna work. Come on. Sorry guys, I'm trying to flatten this and doesn't want to flatten. Okay. okay. I'll do this. Try from this side to do this. That can fold like that. And then fold over. This is very stubborn wrapping paper in some cases. Which isn't always a bad thing, but in this case, not so great. This is gonna be one of my rough wraps, but that's okay. It will be wrapped. It'll be done. And it will do the job. Oh, and I've been uh, doing a little bit of work on my books. Um, I did a bit of editing on one the other day. I've been trying to figure out, I'm not, I always said my stuff would look really good as a comic because of how it looks in my head. The problem with that being that I'm not a great drawer. Like I'm, I'm just not. My hands don't handle it well and it just always ends up looking like not like what I want it to, I guess. I tried downloading like stuff to like try and use like software for, but you need like a drawing pad to really use it properly. And I can't afford one of those at the moment. So the software is free, the drawing pad is not. But I'm trying to figure out all that stuff anyway. I don't know. I've always been kind of interested in doing artsy stuff, but just never had the uh, hands for it, I guess. 
like I like music, I like drawing, I like painting, I like, you know, writing, obviously. So but my hands, being boy they are make it hard to do any of that. Uh, that's why I have take so long to do all this stuff. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I can add like sort of like because I've got the whole thing written. But I still need to do some editing on it. And I was thinking of adding maybe like a comic element to it, like doing like maybe a little like sketch thing of what's going on on the, in like a little panel on page. But I wasn't sure of that since that wasn't sure if I could even like do an art style that would work or if I could even like draw at all enough to, you know, make it look the way I want it to. So I don't know. I'm kind of figuring that out as I go. Okay, that is one wrapped book. Not the greatest, but it works. Okay. Again, name and... Uh, right there. Another name and another book. So... When I'm reading a lot of like science news over the last little while, actually I read it fairly often anyway. Um, just a lot of stuff about like black holes and particle theory and that thing about the one guy saying about aliens. That was kind of weird. Um, honestly, I do believe that there are aliens, but that's one of those they're probably avoiding us things. Honestly, I wouldn't blame them. So that's my take on that whole thing. Um... But as for, like, the physics stuff, I read a lot of, like, stuff about, like, black hole theory and things like that. Like, stuff about it could be, like, lead to, like, parallel universes and other parts of the galaxy and things like that for the bigger black holes. Smaller black holes, I think it's different. Anyway, but, of course, uh, there's all stuff about particles and how those work, so those are, that's always interesting to try and... Uh, Mary together and all that stuff because I also read about like string theory and things like that. So I don't, I'm not like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'm someone who likes to read about a lot of things, but I don't really have like a degree in something. Although if I wanted to, I could probably write like, read and write some scientific papers if I tried. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not scientific, but like, Probably like psychology ones. I've done that before technically in college. So anyway, um, what should I wrap next? Should I wrap Pikachu? We got a Pikachu here. Should I wrap Pikachu? Oh, I need to take the tags off of him. I still haven't taken the tags off. My son likes Detective Pikachu, but the Detective Pikachus were like $60 for one that was only a little bit bigger than this. It talked too, but it's like, I'm not paying $60 for a bloody stuffed animal. These ones were 20 some. So he got one of these. Still nice. Still Pikachu. Doesn't talk, but it'll work. He's holding a cupcake, I think. But yeah, there he is. I'm gonna actually like wrap him, wrap him. Should I wrap him, wrap him in like this leftover, or should I just get a little piece? Because I got some extra over here too. That might be kind of hmm, that could work. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll combine pieces of wrapping paper into like the wrap one gift. So I'll have like a bunch of scraps that are, you know, not tiny, but not large enough to like wrap one individual gift. Or like I'll have like a little bit of a hole on one and I'll use like a piece of ruler to cover that. Either way, just something I do to make things stretch a little. Not like it matters. It still gets used for its intended purpose. So really, it's not like I'm causing a problem. And really, it's a bit more environmentally friendly this way, too, because I'm using all of it. Now, there are people who would be like, you shouldn't use wrapping paper at all. You should use bags if you want to be eco-friendly. It's like, that's true. But I'm pretty sure these are cheap. This is cheaper. And unfortunately, I do have to go the cheap route at the moment. Uh, if I can, I do try and do the more environmentally friendly stuff, though, I will say. So, like, we do try to eat, like, organic uh, meat, eggs, and dairy. 
Um, as well as, like, bread and stuff like that. I'll still eat, like, non-GMO fruits and vegetables and things because usually for me, like, um, not GMO, sorry, uh, organic usually means it just, with fruits and vegetables, it doesn't last as long, I find. So, and certain things in my house will get eaten faster than other things, so it just doesn't, I don't know, doesn't make sense for us logistically in some cases. Also, organic is expensive. Oh, I don't really think there should be a difference between organic and regular produce in cost, in all honesty. It's produce. I know it takes different stuff. I get that. I get that there's a different cost associated. I get that, too. But to me, it feels like they're overcharging extra for it, in all honesty. Like, it should not be that much of a price difference in some cases, especially since you tend to get less with the organic stuff as well, just in volume and such. At least that's what I find. I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, I call it into question, but I can't really, like, I could probably prove it if I wanted to, but I don't want people to be, like, yelling at me about it, I guess. Uh, okay. So where is Pikachu? Okay, there's his ears. So, oh, there's a little bit extra on this, which I will cut off after I do this up, because I'm just going to do this up now, because it's not. This is uh, very tight. Well, not very, very tight, but tight enough that I'm like, I need to get this on here now or it's going to cause a problem. There. Okay. Uh, that's fine. And that's fine. Cool. Okay. I think the bottom will be okay. I'm going to leave that. And then the top, I'm going to cut a little bit off. Not too much, though. So. Yeah, because his ears are to, like, there. So. We'll do it this way. Okay, bottom first, and then I'll stand him up. Try and do it that way. There. Good enough. Okay. So let me just just this and uh, think. Sorry, my brain is this is getting annoying. So I'm going to do something else to try and get this to work. I know you guys are probably like you only spend like two seconds trying to do that. It's like well I'm not going to spend another thirty seconds to a minute doing this the same way and not getting anywhere. So, we're going to do a different strategy. Just gonna take this side. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is what I usually do for the top of the bottle, which is the scrunch, scrunchy thing, and then you wrap it in tape. Unfortunately, because this is the cheaper wrapping paper, this is not quite working as well as I want it to. But it'll do. Okay. Okay. Other end. Same idea. Just like this. Pikachu looks like a giant candy. Um. I'm not even going to elaborate on that one. Okay. Um, oh, there we go. Sorry, my tape turned. That is a very not-so-great sound on my ears. Uh, okay, that's enough tape. All right. Okay, that works. Nice and secure in there. Got a bone and name tag on this thing. Usually I'd add, like, actually, should I add the ribbons to, you know what? Where are my ribbons? Uh, I bought ribbons, as you can see. And I'll show the green because it's long gone unraveled. 
Now, I do know how to curl these. But it took me a long time to figure that out, though. Okay, so I'm going to get a bit of this and then cut it into equal lengths and add it to the ends. Okay, so where's the, where's the opposite ends of this? Um, it's like here. This looks interesting. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to do this. Okay. And then cut this. And we're going to cut this one right up here. Okay. So now I have four of equal length. I'm going to put four on each end just because that would be, I think, enough to make this look okay. Um, okay, now that's not going to There, that's a little better. Okay, so let's do this again. One. I wonder if it's possible to do them all at once. These last two together. That might. Hmm. Let's try on something here, guys. I don't know if this is going to work, but we will see. That. And oops, I cut one of the other ones there. And then this. Okay, that worked. Okay, now I'm gonna curl all these. <sighs> what have I done to myself? Oh well. So you use like the, the scissors to curl them. I used to be terrible at this. I got okay at it over the last few years. When I was a kid and a teenager, it was like I did not know how to do this properly, or rather I either couldn't. I don't know. I don't know if I couldn't or just didn't figure it out till recently. But so but either way. Now I can do it and it looks pretty good. So oh, come on. There we go. There we are. one end. Hold on. I think that looks pretty good. You just can't really see it. Eh. It works. It covers up the tape. So, just kind of the point. Yeah. Apparently I scraped myself with the scissors. Okay. And then again, we're going to do a good long length of this. Here. Find the ends. Again, we're going to do four. Oops. This one's a little short. Okay. They're all pretty much the same length. Right. So up here. And then that's the short one. This one as well. 
Oh, I got a like. Thank you. Don't know who you were. Didn't see who you were, but thanks. Always nice to get a like midstream on YouTube. All right. There we go. What time is it? That is a good question. Um, yeah, we still got an hour. All right. Well, I've only wrapped, what, two things? <laughs> I'm a very slow wrapper, guys. Okay, so this time we're not going to try them all individually. This time we're going to try and tie them all at once. All together. Okay, so I need to find the ends of these. Which should all roughly be the same. Okay. Oops. Dropped one. There we go. Again, some idea. This time I'm doing it all at once to save some time. Which works pretty well. Exactly like I wanted it to. Okay. There. Alright. Curling time. And Third one. And fourth. Nope, didn't quite get that one. There we go. And four more. I'm just kind of doing it side by side as I go here. I wonder if curling ribbon sound would be a good, good SMR, ASMR video. Or part of one, anyway. If I had the mic closer, this would be kind of ASMR y, but. It's all the way across the table just for space. So, out of luck on that one. There we go. There. Two bunches of curled ribbon. Alright. So now we just need a name tag and bow. Where did my pen go? I just had it. There it is. Okay, so this is for my older son. This one in it. Okay. It goes. And I need another bow. Green, apparently. Well, green with green kind of works. Comes the back. Backs are kind of weird. There's like two different strips you gotta take off. One big, one small. And it's not like a clear one. It's like actual like that's what I'm looking for. It's like paper. Okay, that is one wrapped Pikachu. All right, let's put my thing under the tree. Too much noise. Okay. Put you back there. I'll show you guys the tree at the end of the video for a little bit there. If we, you know, have time. Okay. Next. Let's figure that out. I think we will do. I guess I'll get this, this thing out of the way. Although, I don't know if I have enough. Actually, you know what? I'll do the other one first because I don't have enough wrapping paper left in that roll to do that. But I think there's enough of this. This is like a game thing that I got for my older son. It's like a bunch of like my usernames and stuff, and like Chinese checkers and like some kind of puzzle stuff in it. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's five games in one. So I thought he'd like that. We don't have very many board games, unfortunately. The last ones we bought them kind of got the boxes got wrecked. This year I'm going to be a bit more precautious. Excuse me about that stuff. With them. So we don't have that happen again. So this is very. Yeah, it's probably good. No, not there. Okay, here. 
Yeah, right there. Okay. And then I will just move. Oh, hello. Someone is talking to me on Twitch. Wanna become. Oh, for crying out loud. Stupid spam. Yeah, no, we don't do spam, thanks. Uh, someone spam message me on Twitch. Who's on this one? Need some more of things. And gifts. Yeah, yeah. My mic's probably good for ASMR, honestly. I haven't done it, but yeah, I think like things like that, like the the scissors going across the wrapping paper and like the uh, the different like things, like the me with the, the ribbon. Where's my scissors? There's my scissors. Okay, so should I do this? You know, I'll do it this way. I'll do it this way. Okay. So again, we want to do a pre-measure kind of thing here. Alrighty. So here. Oh, here. Oh, I guess I got some chat going on, which is nice. I should get that many people chatting with me. But then again, I usually do writing streams. Okay. I also game. This is just one of the many other things. I will also sometimes bake with my fiance and my kids. So. Uh, okay. So that is the length we want. I don't know about, you know, just cut it across and we'll go about, and then we'll go from there. Two different sounds of those. Let me when you can get it to slide it. There's the other one. Oh, that's hot. There we go. Oop, a little bit of the end there. Alright. Put that back over there. We've got this nice sheet. Okay, so I know it goes this way just fine. And I need to come off excess on the side. Okay, and that is. Okay, so where was it? What was it? I think it was the here. Was the, yes. So about three and three quarters. Okay, so three and three quarters to the side of this thing. I'm on like the three mark. So there. One, two, three. Right about there. There. I'm so glad this thing has grids, it makes it so much easier. Mismeasured. That'll be interesting. So far, I haven't mismeasured, which is kind of nice. Okay. Right. This little taped. And most of the stuff in boxes. The only thing that hasn't been a box so far is Pikachu. I do have some 
hoodies over here that I gotta wrap as well on this chair. The rest of it's stocking stuff. Those are on the chair over here. So to my right, which would be you guys' left, I think. I don't know. I don't know. This thing is mirrored or not, or whatever the setting is. Uh, okay. Get in there. Put this up. Right with the last one. I'll show you guys this time since I showed it at the beginning. Let's see if I have a piece in me anyway. But it looks like this one's going to be a nice crafting job as well. Yep. That measures that pretty good. Alrighty. Let's take this one. Oh. Alright. I'm going to go take. Let's keep going here. Piece of here. I'm just gonna do one on this part, this little part here, so that it doesn't open or anything. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, this is the last week of school for my kids. They're all at school and vacation as the holidays. They've been really good about wearing their masks and everything. Now, for those of you who have been able to keep your kids at home, good for you. I can't do that, unfortunately. My kids are not the type to be able to learn at home. Uh, so I do have to send them to school in order for them to uh, keep up and get that social interaction that they need and things like that. So my kids have, um, well, one has confirmed autism. We're pretty sure the rest all do too, because I do. So we found out it's probably genetic, that happens. Didn't know. So, so I was like, well, my brother and I were the first ones to so much show symptoms of it, but it wasn't like full blown, like, well, that was full blown, but it was like, we're high functioning enough that back in the nineties, we would not have been diagnosed. Whereas with all the criteria now we would be. So yeah, just didn't know and didn't know it was genetic. So hence why all four of my kids probably have it. So this one is for my oldest son, but even so, they're pretty high functioning. So like the only one you can immediately tell with would be my da one daughter. So, and then as you get to know my kids, it becomes somewhat apparent in the rest of them. So same with me. Uh, that. Oh, I just smudged the ink. Oops. Oh, well, you can still read it. Another bow. Let's see what color we get this time. Blue. As you guys saw, I did not even look for that. I just kind of pulled it out there. All right. Let's get this stuck on here. And then move on to the next gift. Hopefully this will be the last of the wrapping videos. If I can get all this done. Oh, all right, I'm gonna go put this at the tree. I'm just behind. There the camera is, sort of. So I'll show you guys that. It's rolled on. Okay. Alright. Next. Alright, so we still have quite a bit of wrapping paper. Books. More books. These are for both for my one, my younger son. He really likes dinosaurs. In fact, most of the presents that he got were dinosaur themed. Or like dinosaurs, just in general. Also got him some dragon stuff, as I saw. Um, some books and just toys in general. And I believe, I'm to, what else? Aside from dragons and dinosaurs, we got him. Uh, I got him some board games. I think we got him Operation, I think. Or did I give him the other game? We got them Operation in one other game, and I can't remember what they are off the top. Or Kerplunk. We got him Kerplunk. That's right. We also got them, so you got them each like a bunch of books. The other kids got sets, but we couldn't find a set for him, so he just got but all the random dinosaur books we could find, <laughs> and dragon ones and stuff like that. I think these are like an amphibian thing, too? I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, we got them slay sleds. That's that's another thing we got them. So, I almost said sleds. No, they're so cool. Are they sleds or are they sleds? I don't think they're sleds, because you can't pull them. So I'm pretty sure they're sleds. Either way. Okay, so this one is. is there like, oh, there's like. Oh, yeah, because this is like a construction thing. 
So it's like a book, and you can make a dinosaur. So that was pretty cool. Like it comes with like a book, and then yeah, it's pretty cool. I thought that was neat. So yeah, he can make a dinosaur, and he can read. So let's wrap this up. Okay, so I only need. And the other one comes with like these teeth things. So that was kind of cool. I hope like those. All right. Okay. So this can go there. Move this up to the center more. Yeah. So. I, already, I forgot I already had a blue ribbon sitting here, so I'll use that for this one. Yeah, I'm working on some of my book stuff, just doing editing and such. I'm trying to, like I said, get the one ready for publication. I'm not sure when that will be. The one I have out, you know, is out there. I'm still kind of amazed that I managed to get it into that premium catalog, although some of the links still aren't working for some of the ebook stuff. I might have to contact uh, Smashwords about that, actually, because it's been a few weeks now since I did it, because I did it back in, Frank, when did I do that and get approved, like, and beginning of November, I think. I started doing it, in, like, I submitted it in like, late October, and then I finished getting it all set up by either early or mid-November, and now it's you know, mid-December, and they're supposed to get that stuff up pretty quickly, like a few days kind of thing, and it's been some weeks now, so I might contact them, because there's only two that aren't working. The rest are all fine. So, but yeah, so I still find it funny that I managed to do that, because it's like, they, um, it's basically, I got my ebook into a premium catalog through Smashwords, and they send it out to, like, a bunch of different ebook retailers, including, um, like Apple Books and Barnes and Noble and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. And uh, what you have to do is basically, they give you this guidebook to basically follow to do it. Now my first book was pretty simple, so it wasn't that hard to do, I don't think, considering like it didn't have like a lot of like extra stuff. It was literally just the, the first part of my story because it is my, my first book. So I managed to follow all the guidelines and get it in there. It took me a while, it was pretty tedious, but yeah. It's been in there for the last little while, and they've been getting all the links working, but like I said, two of them still are kind of not doing what they're supposed to. I believe that's the link for Gardeners, and the one for, I want to say, Scribbid or Odillo, but I think the Scribbid one might be weird. What did this person just say? Sounds, inter sounds interesting. Well, I haven't even talked about what the book's about, so... Uh, but yeah, the books are, it's basically, they're a series that I'm writing. It's a sci science fiction fantasy kind of thing. Basically, it's like, um, think about our Earth, but it's like, uh, has like every single mythological creature you can think of, including like gods and stuff, but it can all be explained by science. That's what I'm writing. Pretty much is like the world that it's being written in, is, if that's what it's based off of. And it's basically how a bunch of like, you know, like a combination of like humans and creatures and gods basically save this world eventually there's like this whole thing about it and so i've been writing it for a while now i kind of started getting the ideas when i was quite a bit younger but i was never really able to write it up until recently oh did i not put a all right i think i put a thing on that Wait, caught up talking and didn't put an name tag on brain please work uh So, sorry about that, guys. Getting a little ahead of myself, apparently. But yeah, so it's on a bunch of stuff. You can also get, like, I've had it on um, Amazon for a while. Two, okay, so this is to my younger son. Okay. That one on. Okay, this time I did not smudge the ink. But yeah, so I've gotten, I'm trying to figure out if I want to 
what I want to do with the second one. And there's also something else I want to work on, which is I started writing a fan fiction a long time ago. It's um, Joker and Harley Quinn. It's up on like the actual fan fiction site, like the standard one that most people know about. So I've been working on that for a long time and I haven't really gotten back into it. And I should, because I said I would. I only just want to write the one chapter, but it's not a, it's, because it's Joker Harley Quinn, it's a lot different than what I usually write. It's a lot of a different, it's a different genre. And the one I'm writing is pretty, I guess the word brutal would be the word to use, because it's pretty much like, basically it's like the idea of Har Harley being obsessed with the Joker from like younger was the idea I went with. So anyway, I'm writing a chapter that's pretty, um, gory would <laughs> be the best way to put it and it's not that I can't write it it's that my brain is like I don't know if I really want to write this but my choice to write that fan fiction so I already know what I want to write for it just a matter of getting it all down I've been thinking about it for a while but I had to phrase it all properly so there we go That needs not too much inside. Should cut this out as is right now. If you guys want to check it out, it's on a bunch of ebook platforms. It's on Amazon for my book, and it's called The Last Universal Guide Origins for the first one. The first one is just a romance, and it has to do with how this one character ends up in this world. She's basically human, I guess would be the best way to put it. That, that'll that get explained more in the story as it goes on. But, yeah. So, I guess how she ends up being a part of this whole thing and, like, her role in it, because she ends up playing a really big role in that world, even though she's not... She is part of it, but isn't. It's, it's a little hard to explain. But yeah. It's supposed to be, like, a parallel like world to ours kind of thing so like it has all the same history we do uh for humans but there's also like a secret mythological like society of mythological creatures that have their own thing on this planet and it's been going on for a really long time even like before humans came along so yeah okay um think about there so I've got the first book written of three different storylines for it, of like the origins for these different characters before they go on this, you know, big epic journey together kind of thing. And currently, um, I'm working on another one as well. There's, um, I mean, origins, there's four? Yeah, there's four. So I've got three of them, the first book written. The fourth one I haven't yet, because that one isn't really like, a series. It's its own standalone little thing. Like, I guess it would be a mini series because it might end up being more than one book. I don't know if it will end up being more than one book, though, for that one. It might just be the one that they meet him and I don't really, like, do the middle part so much as with these ones. Because these ones, the middle part is a little bit more... Let's just say they have a lot more interaction with uh, that world than that one does. So, for that one, it's more of a one-off thing and then they get reintroduced to it later. These ones, it's more of a, it's constantly there after a point, just like in little bits, and it grows and grows. I just, I don't know. Best way to, I guess that's the best way to describe it. <laughs> uh, sometimes my descriptions are a little weird. Sorry, guys. Don't know if that's the autism or just my brain in general. Okay. There we go. I did not want to tape properly. It's all down. Okay, that's a little better. That one side did not want to properly. This side is being fine. Funny how that works.
Okay. So we had some comments, had some views, had a like. That's pretty cool. I call that. This is a pretty good stream so far. All right. Time. Let's check it. 149. We still got time. Okay. Oh, I need the name tags again. Oops. Oh, there goes my ribbons. I don't want to need them at the moment, though. I'll clean them up after. So. Love from everyone. As I put it. My mom used to write out all of our names, plus hers and my dad's, because it was just me and my brother. I had to put from everyone, because I have four children, and I don't want to write out all of their names. <laughs> so. They know what it means. It's all good. And that's just what we do here. Alrighty. Go on. And time to go under the tree for this one. Here it is. Nice and wrapped. Another book. Okay, so now we have left now are the hoodies. And that one prep that one toy. I'm going to wait on this. We'll do this next. We'll do the hoodies next. Okay. Now, I want to have one that isn't a hoodie. It's just a sweater that I got for my one son. These are all for my older son because all of his hoodies are getting too small. Now, how am I going to... I guess I'll just, excuse me. Pull it like this. Oh. Not sure if this is going to fit. I might put these in a gift bag. I might put these in a gift bag. Just saying. I don't know. That'll be fine. Okay, so I do that. It's still not it. I don't know. I don't know. That's a little suspect. Mm, maybe. I think we'll be okay. I think we will be okay. Alright. Let's get this off. And all these clothes have been cleaned already. I'm just wrapping them. At this point. They'll go away on the day of. On the day of. We're going to have so much cleaning to do. <laughs> uh, it's going to be funny. Okay. Cross this, this, this. All right. So I think I have, yeah. So three articles of clothing, and then that one box left of Lego. Well, Mega Box. It's not really Lego Lego. It's toddler Lego. But either way. Okay. set up much of this stuff, which I don't usually do. So, that was nice. Okay. Almost done here. There. There. This side, too. Interesting how you can probably never consistently wrap a gift, or at least I've never managed to do it. I always, it's always slightly different, even if the package is like pretty much the same. Unless, of course, you have like a pre-sized package, then of course it's always going to be the same. Pre-sized. Uh, okay, thanks. All right, that's for my older son. Okay. 
and I'm not repping their Santa stuff. That's just going to be out on, on the table for them along with their stockings. So I'm not going to bother to do that. Oh, I've already done enough wrapping this year. <laughs> Trust me on that one. Well, here you'll see in a minute anyway. Well, not a minute, but a few minutes. Okay. So that one is done. Yay. One wrapped present. Uh, into the tree it goes. Well, around the tree, I should say. And we have a lot of different um, colors of wrapping paper at this point. I've gone through probably about, let me think here, one, two, three, four, five rolls of wrapping paper? Four or five, right on there. Mind you, I think one of them was like halfway done when I started using it, so more like probably four and a half at most, I think. Okay, the other one. Okay, so this is a shirt. Again, lots of dinosaur stuff for my one son. So I saw that and I was like, I gotta get him that. It's so cute and he will like that because it's a T-Rex playing basketball. Okay, so this I can actually like fold, fold nice. So I have the hood. Put on my lap for now. Get some more paper. Now, will this work this way? Just like off. Mm, yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Uh, where did I just put? There it is. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Right, we got the slide. Maybe we can make it all the way. Did it. That's the first for this stream, anyway. I don't know how many times I've done that before this, but it's usually pretty few and perfect enough. There's the tape. Sorry, my brain was like, where did I put that? It's right there. Okay. Then it goes. Now to the side. other stuffies like I wrapped that Pikachu this time. Pretty sure I've at least amounted to the top of two stuffies. I don't know if I've done it to both sides, but at the very least I've to the top of one or two. Sometimes you gotta be creative when you wrap certain things, especially if you don't have the option of gift bags and things like that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, another wrapped shirt. Alright, where did my pen go? There it is. Okay, we got name tape soon. On this sheet, anyway, I got others. Right. On here. Okay. And then we need a bow. Each of them grab. We got silver this time. I prefer the plastic backing, but eh, somebody, I think I just got a message. Mm. Okay, I will message that my friend back later. So, do that when I'm done this. Okay, this under the tree. Okay, next, this one, 
I just got these all second hand, by the way. None of these are new because my kids grow so freaking fast. Like I'm, I think all kids do. I'm sure there's some kid out there that grows really slow that doesn't have like a, well, I'm sure there's some kids out there that don't grow fast that have like, you know, growth problems and things like that. But most kids grow at a fairly steady average pace from what I know. And for those kids that don't, well, I hope you are healthy and happy and good otherwise. And that your growth problem doesn't cause you problems. That would be the best way to put that, I think. Okay, so that's all nice and folded up now. I'm going to fit in one of the, some of this. So. Uh, do I want to? Can I go this way again? Can we do that again? I think we can. Okay. So aside from that, we're right, gonna go. Okay, so that should be enough there. So there's again. And I think there should be enough. Is that slide again? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yep. Did it again. Cool. Oh, this is like too much, but better. It works. There we go. My mom was saying I should do some uh, other videos about my ideas about like physics and stuff because I have some interesting ideas around it from stuff I've read. Mind you, I'd have to go through a lot of like teaching people a lot of like quantum physics theories and like stuff about how particles and quarks and string theory all work. But yeah, so basically, when I read that stuff, um, I don't understand the math necessarily, but I understand um, it when it's written out and how that works. And I visualize it in my head. So I'm able to picture how like black holes and atoms and all that stuff like work and look and how like different systems in an atom would appear and how like quarks would look uh, in string theory and all that stuff. So it's pretty interesting. Um, I can't, like I said, I can't do the math. But when I read it, I can visualize like what's happening and how it works. So I have a pretty good understanding of it, usually. Um, okay, so that's for older son. Yeah, I read a lot about that stuff and I watch a lot of science thing, like about science and stuff like that, different kinds, mostly space. And physics. Sometimes I'll, t I'll read stuff about like the deep sea or like um, how volcanoes and the earth work and different. Well, I guess that's still sounds a space stuff kind of idea for like planetary things. Uh, I just found that stuff interesting. Um, okay, that's mostly off there. Okay, okay so I have one more. Shirt left. And then we're gonna wrap that big thing, which I will probably need a different wrapping paper thing for. Okay. Yeah, watch as I turn you guys to look at my friggin' tree, the whole all the presents just collapse. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Okay. Last piece of clothing. But not least, this thing is kind of huge on my son, but that's good because it keeps it warm. Okay, I'm going to try this time putting the hood on the inside of it. That kind of helped. OK. 
Okay. Now for this one, this one's a little bit bulkier, so I probably can't do what I did before with it, but we'll see. How much do I have left of this? I have... hmm. Let's just see if I have enough left to do that this thing before I tackle this, because I can just figure out what to do with that. Okay. Let's just see. This has been sitting in my storage room for a while. A little beat up, but this is meant to be a Christmas present for my daughters. So, um, I need to just put this here. Hold on a sec, guys. There we go. That'll help. Okay. I might have to do the whole cover up with a different thing at the bottom of the top thing, but. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's shift this just a little bit. I think we should be okay. Yeah, we'll be good. So I have enough here to do this, which is great. Okay. So after this, we'll just get that sweater done. Which, since it's only one sweater, I might just grab a bag from the thing we have down the hallway that's full of Christmas bags and just use one of those rather than opening up a whole other kind of gift wrap that I really don't want to have to open up at the moment. Okay. That's nice and smooth. Okay, this. see because the camera is not going to go that high. Oh well. Okay. That's one end done. since they both still play with these. I'm going to put a little bit extra at the bottom here, just because this is a little bit on this side piece here, because it's kind of sticking out and can be caught. In this. this weird, like, folded bit at the top here, because of how this ended up. So I'm just going to put this tape in there. Big long thing is all the way around. I need another one of these. Okay. Uh, on this one. Okay. That can go there. Um, green. It's time for a bow. Okay. Which is interesting because of the lighting on my one camera. It almost looks like one of those like old 80s music videos. Even like the angle is kind of like reminiscent of that. <laughs> okay. Don't roll. Uh, 
in this last time, but we're going to use it. This, because that's not a perfect fit. Yep. It's going to fit in there nicely. There. Let me just that. Tie these up all nice. And then I'll just put a name tag on it. There. Yay. No more present wrapping. I just need to check to make sure I have enough stocking stuffers. <laughs> Pretty sure I do. Pretty darn sure. Okay. So, stocking stuffers. Um, so, here's one of my boys' stockings. Here's one of my girls' stockings. Okay. That there. That there. Alright. So what time is it, too? I don't have a lot of time, but we're going to at least check these and see. Uh, and I'm going to quickly answer my friend. She texted me. All right, so stocking stuffers. I have different things for my kids. Uh, I these cool. These are cute. My daughter's both like like really big headbands, so I got them each one. Uh, for them, and then some mitts. I don't need these tags. I'm gonna take the tags off of these things right now because that would be a good idea. Get that right off there. So these ones are for my one daughter, and then I got some other ones. I also got these big purple ones. So smaller ones are for one, or bigger ones are for the other, obviously. Okay. There we go. And I got some these. They both like My Little Pony, so got them these. These are cute. Sometimes get really, really good finds at the dollar store. Don't need that sticker. Or this. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm going to give this one to the, my younger daughter and this one to my older daughter. Okay, I'm going to like those. Stuff off these. Cut that tag off. Okay. Okay. 
Hers. I got them each like some wintery stuff. Uh, okay, that out. Take this out. Just got a little plasticky bits off these. That's for that daughter. I'm gonna make the house for my sons too. That would be a good idea. Okay, so these ones are for my younger son. It's actually fuzzy stuff too, so I have fuzzy mitts. Hello, hon. Hi. I'm still streaming. Just so you know. Mm. Okay, that was this. This was Damon's, I think, right? Yes. Okay. That's where I will put on these. Sort of things for okay. This is here. I'm gonna put a bunch of the garbage in this. It has a little pile of it going here now. And my friend is messaging me again, of course. Be expected though. Uh... Okay. Do something there. Okay, so finish this up. Still in there, just came out weird. There you go. Okay. This one will be for one son. This one's for the other one. Both wanted scarves. I got them scarves. The stocking stuffer. Okay. Go. Okay, what else do I have here? Oh, those mitts are for me. Get this out. These mitts. Oh, do I still have something here that needs to be wrapped? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, that's all right. One book is not going to cause a problem. Okay. So those are for him. These were cute. They're like little activity drawing things that I found. So that one is for him. This one is for her. That one is for him. And this one is for my other brother. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. This one. Is This one as well. I think we're gonna have one of those stuff together. In all honesty. It's in this one. Uh, it's for her. These ones are for her. These ones are for her. No, these were for her. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. No, for him. 
think they each got one of no, the older kids each got one. This one was hers. That's his. This is his. These are his. I'm not gonna pick them up the wrapping because they're weird. These are her stickers. This is his little notebook. This is these. Oh, I did get her one. Okay. I guess she got blue. Okay. One of these is his. Yes, I bought my hand. Oh no, wait. Each of them is getting one of those. That's right. Why is that in there still? That's not a present. That is a shower curtain liner, which I need to put in my bathroom. Uh, where did my scissors go? That's me. There they are. Okay. So we're in the home stretch here, guys. Okay. Yep. That is hers. And this is other daughters. Okay. And then what is this? Oh, that's it. Okay. I think I might need to get my older son. Uh, one of these is his. So this is purple. Yeah, I might just get him more chocolate. That might be what I do. I need to get one of these too. And... Okay, yeah. Oh, I might have to get some more stocking covers for as my oldest son. Okay, good to know. I'll probably grab him a hat. And maybe one or two other things. All right, so that's good. Now I know what I need. Put all this back in here. Well, obviously, I'm not dealing with right now. I'm just putting it all the way. That's a really fun to bag. I don't like that. We'll use this one. Okay, so the rest of these stuff needs to go away. And then we should probably end the stream here. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you want to find me anywhere, um, I have a. I, I'm currently broadcasting on. Twitch and YouTube out simultaneously, but for those of you on my Twitch, my YouTube is RJ Myers, the Myers part is spelled M-E-I-J-E-R-S. For those of you on my YouTube, my Twitch is werewolf underscore Revy, Revy is spelled R-E-V-Y, and then I also have an Instagram and a Twitter, both of those are RJ Myers 90, and I have a TikTok, which is just RJ Myers. You can also find me on Facebook as RJ Myers Books and Gaming. So, and then some form of my book can be found on various ebook platforms, including um, Apple Books, um, Co uh, Kobo, um, iDemo, Barnes and Noble, Scribd. Um, what are the other ones? There's a bunch. Okay, just look at my book. It's called The Last University of Origins. I put it for fantasy, science fiction, romance, and it's set in a parallel universe to ours. Where mythological creatures and gods and demigods and all sorts of other things exist, and it's all explainable by science. And yeah, go check it out. It's pretty cool. I'm working on more branches of the same story line, the same story, different parts of the storyline. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to check it out, that'd be really cool. And I hope you guys will tune in next time and follow me and all that other fun stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching, and see you guys next time, and goodbye for now. Stop streaming on there, and stop streaming on here.